Today we're going to be making witches balls. Now typically I think they originated somewhere around the 17th century. They're usually made of glass and they're supposed to ward off evil spirits. Today usually I, some people believe they ward off evil spirits but you can also fill them with things like things to help for protection or prosperity, and you can hang them in the windows of your home. But they also make fantastic Yule tree ornaments. Now, I'm going to be making a couple of these. I'm going to actually be making a prosperity and a uh, protection one today for a friend of mine, and I'm going to send it to them. They don't know I'm making this, but Instead of glass, just because we all know that even if you mark something glass, it's going to get thrown around. So I got these plastic refillable ornaments from, hmm, I don't remember where I got them from. I don't think they came from, they might have come from Walmart. I don't remember. But the, actually the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clip off the string that comes with them because we are going to use ribbon that corresponds to um, what they're for. Now, black is for protection, and then I have a gold ribbon in here that is for prosperity. So, I'm going to make a couple of these. I've never done these before, so I'm kind of excited to do this. Let me get this trash out of the way, and let's get started on our witch's balls. Okay, so the first one I'm going to make is protection. So in this, I'm going to add some star anise. Star anise is, is represents protection because of the points. Oh my god, it smells so good, guys. If I can open the bag. Oh, oh, this smells good. Oh, it's a shame I'm not going to be able to fit a whole one in here. Let me see if I can pop that down in there. Nope. It's going to have to be broken up. That's a shame. We're going to put some clove in here. Now we're going to use whole cloves. If you don't have whole cloves, I guess you could use uh, ground clove, but I prefer whole because if you look, they look like little nails. So it's like, think about if you were trying to get through something that was covered with nails. That's why they represent protection. So we're just going to put a handful of these in here. I think these balls are bigger than the stuff that I have, to be honest. We're going to put some cinnamon in here. Let's see if I can get a whole cinnamon stick in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is going to smell good. We're going to add some rose. These uh, dried petals come from my own flowers in my yard. So these are extra special to me. Guys, I can smell the... I wish these were kind of smaller because I don't have a lot of stuff to put in each one. But I can smell the, um, the star anise and the clove. They smell amazing. I'm going to put a few more rose petals in here. Are you helping, monkey? And we're going to put a little piece of black tourmaline, tourmaline in here. I got just this small piece. I'm going to put that in there as well. And I'm going to put a fresh sprig of rosemary that I just cut from my rosemary plant. I'm going to put that in there. Maybe it'll curl and get down in there. I 
Now I'm going to set this aside so that we can fill the prosperity ball. So I'm going to cut this tag off. And in the prosperity, you can also use a star anise and clove. Are you helping me? You're such a good helper. You are a very good helper. I'm getting a lot of help today. Oh gosh. Look, I wish this could fit in there. Look how stunning that is. Star anise is so beautiful. It's got that gorgeous black licorice scent to it. Even if you don't like to eat black licorice, it's, it's got such an amazing smell. I actually like, like black licorice, but only in small amounts. I think I'll put another piece in the protection one as well, just because it is just so beautiful. Okay, and again, I'm going to put whole cloves in. I'm going to put acorns in. Oak represents prosperity. So I'm going to pop these acorns in. And also, isn't this gorgeous? This tiny little pine cone. I've had this on my altar. And so I want to pass this on because that is just absolutely stunning. So I'm going to put this in here. I'm going to put some orange peel in. Now I have some orange that I made myself. I might cut some outer rinds, but I'm gonna put some of this ground in here as well to get plenty in there. But apparently I have to cut open the bag again. I wish I had some chamomile to put in here, but I don't. Now, I'm going to put a piece of citrine in. Citrine represents prosperity, but it also represents fire, and my friend is a fire sign. So that's going to represent her. And I have these gorgeous little shells that I picked up from down at the Gulf. And these represent water, so this is going to represent her husband. So I'm going to put the shells in here, if they fit. I would love for this one to fit. I don't know if it is, but I'm going to try. Fit. 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 Whoop. Okay. So, I just cracked that with a hammer, and I'm going to put that in there. So, I'm going to put some basil in. I don't have any fresh basil, so I'm just going to sprinkle some dry basil in there. And these are some of the oranges that I dried. I'm just going to cut these up and put some dried peel in there because I think it would be really pretty. And this is something that I have done myself. 
So since I have made these, I have put my energy into these. That smells really nice. The orange and the clove and the anise. Wow, that smells really good together. Okay. So this part is done. And I'm going to come back and show you in just a second what I'm going to add. Now, the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut up a small piece of paper. I'm going to cut this in half because there's going to be one for each. I'm going to look for my pen. <laughs> and I'm just going to personally write my own spell slash blessing, whatever you want to call it, um, just for my friends in their household. So it doesn't have to be anything elaborate. It can just be, may prosperity fill this house. May this house be protected. Um, and so that's pretty much what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to put the corresponding one into each one. Okay, this is my prosperity one. And now it'll fit right down in there. And the prosperity ball is got everything it's going to have in it. So I'm just going to put the top back on. This one's fuzzy. Ooh. I guess it's good this one is being tough to go back in because that means it won't come out easy. All right. I'm going to switch this out. Now I'm going to write a protection spell. And I'm just going to roll this up. Now I'm just going to go ahead and cut some ribbon to put on this. Now, I've, I've seen sometimes people will like hot glue this down, but these are really light, so I don't think it's going to be an issue, and I really don't want glue all over this, even though I guess it's a good way to seal things in. 
I'm not anti-glue, but since I'm new at this, I, um, I just want to do it this way and see how it does. So again, we're using the black ribbon for protection. And they can hang this on their tree or in their windows for the coming year. If I can get this little piece through. And then for the Prosperity Ball, I'm going to use this gorgeous gold ribbon. You know, I'm going to add one more thing to the protection ball. This is another reason why it's good that I did not glue the top down, because I'm going to take this back off. I'm going to add a bell. Now, I had my gold ribbon in with these bells, but bells have always been used to ward off evil spirits. So I'm going to add a couple um, of bells in this. I'm going to hang these on the tree and show you how nice they look. So there are our witches balls for protection and prosperity. Thank you for joining me.